Distribute the following materials to each pair of students. One spoon, two pairs of gloves, one sandwich bag, one 3.5 ounce cup powdered dry ice, one 3.5 cup with water filled to the 50 ml level, one aluminum pipe pan, one container of sand dirt, and one container of charcoal. Make sure that all groups keep a plate under the bag. Tell students to put on goggles and gloves. Pour the 50 ml of water into the plastic bag. Add two spoons of sand. Add a small spoon of ground charcoal. Mix gently but well with the spoon. A VSVS team member will add a squirt of ammonia. Add the dry ice and wait until it starts to freeze. Form a ball by squeezing the bag tight. Do not mix. At some point, the material will hold its own shape. Add more dry ice or water if needed. Instruct the students not to close the bag completely because the subliming carbon dioxide needs to dissipate. Have students take the comet out of the bag by turning it upside down and place it on the aluminum pipe pan. As time passes, they will find that the comets will have craters. These craters come from the sublimation of carbon dioxide. These pockets can be observed in real comets. The ejection of carbon dioxide gas can change the trajectory of the comets. At the end of the lesson, a VSVS team member will break the comets with the hammer. Students can observe holes in the middle of the comet where dry ice has sublimed. Give each group a few pieces of dry ice in a one ounce cup. Add a little water to the cup to produce a cloud. Tell one member of the group to hold the cup and to move it in the air. Tell another student in the group to represent the sun and to blow gently across the path of the dry ice. How the students record their observations.